staring at a hamster cage. So a couple weeks back I posted on Twitter a picture of a dresser and I said, hmm, what could we be turning this into? And a bunch of people um, gave their thoughts and things like that. So also, if you may know, um, Little Bear was living in my 110 quart bin cage and I just thought it wasn't big enough. Um, for a Syrian personally, I just felt like there wasn't a lot of room to put stuff and I just, just didn't think there was enough room. So I was considering building a DIY cage from scratch from a couple of different inspirations. So there was one on um, eBay that I seen a wooden cage that was like really really nice and then also Erin's Animals I love her cage for iodine um, her hamster I love her DIY cage so I told my dad my plans and things like that and he didn't really want to build a brand new DIY cage um, from scratch because he said he didn't want to be adding more furniture into our house that we should be getting rid of more furniture because our house is a little bit cluttered at times. So we have this old dresser that was in our basement and we decided to transform it into a hamster cage. So we basically started out by taking out all of the drawers and cutting out the middle divider um, in the dresser. Then we added a piece of wood on the bottom. We also added wheels onto the bottom. I helped create the doors, the put mesh on it, um, the hinges, and paint it white. Um, definitely have to say thank you to my dad because I wouldn't have been able to make this at all without him because I'm not a very good builder. I can do some DIY things, but building things is just not my forte. So and thank you so much to him for helping me, obviously. So in total, this DIY hamster cage comes out to 660 square inches of floor space. So that is 44 inches um, length and then 15 inches wide. I am really, really happy with how it turned out. So I'll just show you. There's two very large doors here with a um, lock in the front. It comes up easy. There's two door handles here to open up the cage. Then we take a look inside of the cage. So there is um, a bunch of these levels. These are definitely inspired by Erin's animals. I love her levels in her cage. And Little Bear has been doing monkey bars across the top bin lid. So I decided that I would give him the chance to be maybe a little bit of a climber because I find that Syrians tend to be climbers. Um, I know a lot of people say that hamsters aren't good at climbing, but most of my Syrians I've had have been amazing climbers. So I've just put a couple of level platform type things in here and I have put a little safety, um, what is that, like a safety fence so that he doesn't just blindly walk off. But Little Bear is actually really good. He won't like jump from the top of something. So I have my water bottle holder here. This is just held on by some 3M tape, which I don't know if you can tell, but the water bottle hanger is like bent. So I'm gonna have to fix that later. But here is just a little overview. I did have to change some of the toys and things around to make it work better. Um, he is still learning how to get up onto the levels and things, but he's learning fairly quickly. Um, I did move this bridge here so that he could get up easier. And I did put a blue egg glue there, but he's not sleeping in there. I think he is actually sleeping in there. And then we have his wheel, obviously, some tubes and some chews up on some of the levels. We just have some chews, strawberry, egg glue, a bendy bridge to help. And this level is a little hard to see, but there is a, a bridge. There is some chews behind here that you can't see. This is just like a stepping stool one with a bridge coming down and then the food dish. So this is just an overview of his brand new cage. I really hope Little Bear enjoys it. It definitely gives him a little bit more space as the bin cage did only have about 510 square inches. So this definitely has um, at least 100 more square inches for him to play on and then also the climbing things as well. So I hope he does enjoy this. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!